In Money Works tonight, it's a high-tech solution to an old-school problem. One rural Indiana school district is on the cutting edge of managing their students' cafeteria accounts, and it's all done with the touch of a finger. When you only get half an hour for lunch, every second counts. Even those students in the Roscoe Consolidated School District spend standing in the cafeteria line. When the seniors come in, they usually cut us all. So the freshmen only have about 15 minutes to get in and out of the line and time to eat. In February, school officials here in Carroll and Clinton County implemented a new ID system in the cafeteria, finger scanning biometrics. Instead of using ID cards, the students insert their finger into a small scanner. An ID card can get lost or stolen, where if you're using the student's unique identifier with a finger, it uh, actually protects them more from theft. But the system has been controversial in some school districts across the country, with critics citing privacy and security concerns. The creator of the system says no fingerprint image is actually ever taken. You cannot recreate the fingerprint from the information that's stored. The system stores a series of dots instead of the fingerprint. It basically takes portions of the print, connects them, turns them into a numeric code, and keeps them as a code versus the print storage. School officials say next fall, the system will be able to be accessed via the Internet. We're looking forward to be online where parents can pay online. Also, as a communication tool uh, for parents, you can get online and see what your child is eating. The students say the new system keeps them out of long lines, giving them more time to do what they really came here to do, eat. And if you forget your card um, in the old system, you had to go to the end of the line. I like it a lot better. It's sad that I only couldn't use it for three months since I'm a senior. I love it. It's a lot faster. I, I mean, it's really quick. Rossville school officials say the technology is being used in laptops, grocery stores,